What's up guys? We are doing yet again another packing video. This truck has a rubber floor in it, so I thought it'd be fine, but there is so much mud in Kentucky, it winds up being an inch thick on the floor. So I got these uh, rubber Husky liners off Amazon, I'm going to throw them in there so uh, between trips we could just pull them out and power wash them instead of having to, you know, scrub the whole floor every time. Should save some time and uh, help, help protect the floor a little bit. Just like that, those fit pretty nice. making these little videos so you guys can see what all goes into you know building a cabin like this a house or something uh, far away from where you live you know I, I, I love the channels or the videos where people are living off grid and living in a tent and building their place um, but I think that's impractical for the majority of us it certainly is for me um, I have a successful career and a family and things uh, here where I live um, that, I, that I just wouldn't give up to do that you know uh, although there's times where that seems like a good idea when we bought our property uh, the guy that owned it uh, before me had several of them a lot of people use them for hunting properties things like that um, but a lot of them intend to do what we're doing down there and then a few years goes by they don't do anything with it um, and they wind up selling it I understand why now <laughs> so when we go down there you know it seems like working for about four days seems to be uh, a good I'll call it the sweet spot after that you know the trips that get into six days seven days uh, you start to turn into a pumpkin you know it's, uh, it's time to come home then um, 
But if you go down there and work for four days, you figure it takes me about three days of loading trucks, getting things ready, doing the maintenance, buying materials, getting groceries, pre-cooking some of the food, getting ready to go, a day of driving, four days of working, and a day back. So that winds up being, you know, eight, sometimes nine days of work, but you're only actually working on site for four. Got the wood stove full. You can't even see the Duramax warming up over there. And it's dark. It's like five o'clock in the morning here. But uh, let's step inside, man. It's freezing out here. So today is Saturday. We got the white truck uh, warming up here. George already took the box truck that had the windows and doors and some firewood in it. He'll put his stuff in there um, and he'll head out on his own. Mike is coming to get the white truck here in the camper and then I'll get my truck in the garage, warm it up here and I'll uh, take the side by side on the skid steer trailer along with all the food and supplies and that kind of stuff.
All right, guys, that's gonna just about wrap it up for this one. Got uh, two out of three trucks on the road where they're going. I'm shutting the lights off here. I'm gonna call it good for today. Tomorrow I gotta throw a few things in a cooler, a little food in a truck, pack my duffel bag, nothing uh, too major, and then uh, we'll be headed out Monday morning. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Uh, tomorrow we are supposed to get six to ten inches of snow. So we need to get the heck out of here and uh, try and beat that. So uh, <laughs> the only problem is in Kentucky, that's going to be rain.